OK, so I want my operation, first operation, to be times by 4. So go to operation 1, and I've just got to change this till I get to times. Lovely. 4, and then I need to add. That's already there for me, so I want it. Add on 7. Now, what I've got to do is, I know that this means that I'm going to times the x number by 4 and add 7, but I haven't yet chosen the next number. OK, so let's start easy, and let's just have x as a value of 1. So that is my input value when x is 1. And whatever comes out is going to be my y value that's on my output from my machine. So let's see if I can type in 1 for my input. Lovely. OK. And then I click calculate down here and it should work out my new value. I think it's going to be 1 times 4 is 4, add 7, 11. Fantastic. OK. So now I need to think about what coordinate that's given me, because you were asking me about the coordinates, Rich. The first coordinate I've got here is 1, 11, because 1 is the x number, and the y number that came out that went with 1 was 11. So that's the first coordinate, 1, 11. The first number's the x, the second number's the y. So now let's have a new input of, say, 2. So you try this one when x is 2. I'll hide the answer a minute. Up the value to 2. What do you think the answer is going to be? Let's see if you're right. Click on calculate. Yeah, out popped 15. So the second coordinate I've got when x is 2, y's got to be 15. So we've got 2 15. OK, let's just do one more. Hide the answer. Let's change my input value to 3. Click Calculate. So let's all think what that's going to be. When x equals 3, you've got to times by 4 and add 7. OK. Let's see if we're right. 19. So y is 19. So what's the last coordinate I've just found? x was 3, y was 19. And I could carry on all day putting in different input values for x, getting the y values, and give me loads and loads and loads of coordinates. But I've got enough for now with 3. Let's see if I can find a graph drawing package on my laptop. 